From one way to two way traffic, it's an idea the city of South Bend is tossing around, and right now a traffic study is underway to see if it's a possibility. Driving around downtown South Bend could soon take a different turn. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kim Chapel. Brian Dorman has the night off. ABC 57's Emily Pritchard joins us live tonight from St. Joseph Street in downtown. So, Emily, how many streets is the city of South Bend actually looking at changing? Well, Kim, it's actually four of them. It would be St. Joseph Street here behind me and three others that are parallel to it. And while the change of one-way to two-way streets is still in its early, early stages here, I talked to a number of people downtown today, and they have a lot to say about the concept. The wheels go round along the one-way streets in downtown South Bend, but someday that could change. There's no need. They'd just be um, spending extra money. South Michigan's already messed up. The city has hired DLZ to do a traffic study on St. Joseph, Maine, Lafayette, and William Streets, which are all one ways. It's looking at things like capacity of the roads and traffic counts to see if two way streets could be an option. For people like Ian Shelton, who walks around and works in downtown, he agrees two ways might be easier to navigate, but says it just might not be worth it. I I think the, the two one-way streets that we have downtown run pretty smoothly the way they are. And it's not just the people driving or even walking around that have an opinion about the street. But also the businesses that people turn into. I think that's long overdue. It's the best thing they could do to bring people downtown and build our business. Jackie Bauer is always hoping for people to pop in and buy paintings or jewelry at Made in Michiana, and she thinks two way streets would do it. That's the biggest thing that stops them from coming down here is the two way streets. They get confused, they can't get to where they're going. Just a few blocks over, Wild Style Wings doesn't think it's a bad idea either to get more people off the streets and in the seats while they're open for business. It is a little safer for one, uh, and also it would give businesses on both sides of the street the equal opportunity. While we're still waiting for the city to turn out its study of results come early February, the opinion on the streets will most likely stay divided both directions. And this study is going to cost the city $281,000. And coming up for you all new tonight at 6, these streets, major streets in downtown South Bend, haven't always been one way. I'll show you what I dug up about how long it's actually been since the traffic was going in both directions. Reporting live in downtown South Bend, I'm Emily Pritchard, ABC 57 News.